Welcome to my short video on how to use the year function. In this example, John and Gillian have a list of previous customers that they would like to contact. These customers have placed orders in the years 2009 and 2010. John would like to contact all the customers from the year 2009 and Gillian would like to contact all those who placed orders in 2010. Using the year function will simplify the process. To use a date function, you first must have a proper date, for example, the 13th of the 12th, 2009, as displayed in column B. First of all, I will click into cell C2. And now I will enter the date function. As with all formulas, the first step is to begin with the equal sign. Equals if open brackets. If the year, so we type year, open brackets again, and enter B2, which is the cell to the left that contains the date, close brackets, is equal to 2009. So, so far, we're saying if the year in the cell to the left is equal to 2009, we then insert the comma, then. We wish to have Excel enter the word John. Since John is text, we must put any text into quotations. So open your quotes and type John and close the quotes again. Otherwise, we would like it to be Gillian. Again, since Gillian is text, we must open our quotes and type Gillian and close the quotes. And again, we always must pair up the brackets. If you open parenthesis, you must close them. So our formula currently reads, if the year in cell B2, which is the cell to the left, is equal to 2009, then please insert the word John. Otherwise, please insert the word Gillian. Press the Enter key. And as you can see, Excel inserts the correct text into cell C2. We now will copy the formula for the remaining customers. By using the fill handle, which is the bottom right-hand corner of cell C2, we simply drag and Excel will put in the correct name right down along column C. And if I scroll back up again, you can see. And Excel has also repeated the formula. So by looking at the formula bar, you can see that the formula adjusts accordingly. This is a very quick way of having Excel to input the data and can save a lot of time and speed up a process. Thank you for watching Step by Step by Miriam.